and Wiz were visiting Kenya. It was a beautiful land with lots of green grass and trees. It was also the home of many wonderful animals. Lucy and Wiz had come all the way here just to take pictures of animals for their wildlife album. Do you have the camera ready? Lucy asked Wiz, who was her best friend. I can see many different animals down below. Yes, Wiz said excited. I wonder who the first animal we meet will be. The very first animal Lucy and Wiz met was a friendly young elephant. Hello, the elephant said. I'm on my way to a birthday party. Why don't you come along? The elephant then lifted Lucy and Wiz with his trunk and gave them a ride on his enormous back. It's my friend Lila's birthday today, the elephant explained as he marched on. She's a lioness. My friends and I are having a party for her. It's at the watering hole right after sunset. So get ready to take lots of pictures. Lucy and Wiz felt lucky to be invited to the party. They met many animals there who were Lila's friends. They were hanging balloons of every colour on the trees. We baked a huge chocolate cake for Lila and covered it with jelly beans. A tall giraffe told Lucy and Wiz. <laughs> we'll play games when Lila comes, and the down. baby gorilla said, sucking its thumb. And there'll be a surprise for Lila when she cuts her birthday cake, a zebra announced. Soon the sun went down. It was time for the party to begin. All the animals were very excited. But there was no sign of Lila. Oh, where is Lila? Lila? Her friends wondered. Did she forget about the party? Why isn't she here yet? Let's go see where Lila is. Wiz whispered to Lucy. If she doesn't come, her friends will be very disappointed. Lucy and Wiz went looking for Lila and found her hiding behind a shrub near her den. Happy birthday, Lila, Lila, said Lucy. I hope you remember your friends are waiting for you at your party. Lucy and Wiz thought Lila would be very excited about her birthday party. But to their surprise, she began to cry. <laughs> the little lioness sobbed. I'm not going anywhere until Mr. Sun comes back or until the monster goes away. A monster? Wiz asked, scratching his head. Is there one here? <laughs> yes! Smacked Lucy and Wiz listened carefully. They realized that Lila was right. There was indeed a strange sound filling the cool night air. Don't be afraid, Lila, Wiz said. We'll find out who's making those sounds. So Lila went with Lucy and Wiz. She held their hands tightly as they followed the sound. It seemed to be coming from an old tree. Who's hiding in there? Wiz said very bravely. Please come out! Lila's knees felt wobbly and her chest went thump, thump again. She closed her eyes, quite sure that a monster with big teeth and many eyes would jump out. <laughs> there came a sound. Lila's knees began to shake. Then she heard Wiz chuckle and say, Ha ha! It's just a little owl! Lila opened her eyes and saw a feathery bird whose eyes were as brown as chocolate. It was flying out of a hole in the tree. 